Hello everybody, my name is Christopher Carter and I'm the Polar Bear International Representative to the United Nations and I'm headed into my sixth year working at the United Nations and representing both polar science and working with the people of the Arctic to make sure that we have a strong movement towards climate action. So as I mentioned, I have, I have the honor of, of attending these UN talks and in my home state of Montana, people always ask what happens at those talks and how does it affect me? Everything that we do ends up in the Arctic, whether it's emissions or whether it's pollution. And everything that's happening in the Arctic doesn't stay in the Arctic. So whether you're one of the billions of people who live within striking distance of an ocean, rising seas fueled by melting ice is going to impact your life. And if you're like me and you live in the, the mountainous regions of the West, a cooler climate keeps us safe from wildfires and it helps our ranchers and our farmers able to produce later into the summer without the risks and the impacts of drought. So in this way we're all connected to the Arctic and if we think about the Arctic as a brother or a sister that we got to look out for that's going to be a healthier safer path forward for everyone. So if you joined us last year in Katowice, Poland you probably heard that we were writing a rule book. It's kind of like a workout plan. It's like saying, hey, you know, it's New Year's resolution time. Let's drop some pounds or let's get fit for a certain event or something fun you'd like to do in your life. So now that we're getting into the implementing the Paris Agreement, we're checking in with that workout plan. We're seeing if people are on track. And for folks that aren't quite on track, we're giving them that feedback to say, hey, you got to up the game a little bit here or else we're not going to hit the target. One and a half degrees of Celsius globally is really, really what we have to stick to to be safe for our families, for our economies, and for our life support systems. So it's really key that we touch base with all those countries this year and say, hey, are you actually working out? Are you actually making it to the gym? Because if not, we're in real danger. Big part of that is being able to, to deal with the really dark stuff, loss and damage, as well as finance really ambitious action. And so I'm going to take you inside the wire in the coming weeks to be able to show you why Paris Agreement matters and how, uh, you know, as Americans and as Canadians and as global folks who care about the Arctic, we can continue to push forward. You know, we are in this together and we have to look out for our brothers and sisters of the Arctic, the sea ice and the bears. And so I'm honored to be representing Polar Bears International at the UN and I look forward to you joining me in the coming weeks. Feel free to send us your questions through any of the listed social media channels or email and I'll answer them live. And I look forward to representing uh, the future of the Arctic and the well-being of all the good folks and the bears in that part of the world. And so I hope you'll join us and thanks for tuning in and following all of our efforts.